Minister of Works David Umahi has called for objective monitoring of road and other infrastructural projects by Nigerians. He says this is pivotal to the re realization of renewed hope agenda being vigorously pursued by the administration of President Bola Tinubu, GCFR. The minister stated this in an interaction with State House correspondents shortly after paying a courtesy visit to the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, in her office at the State House, Abuja. The minister, who described the decaying road infrastructure in the country, is frightening, said tackling the challenges on ground require courage. The former governor of Ebony State highlighted lack of effective supervision and dishonesty of contractors as some of the major challenges the federal government has to contend with. The elements within that are also fighting me, you know, who are also benefiting from the system, and that is the greatest problem we have, and they are just pretending. And uh, I will flush those elements out and send them to ICPC to handle them because nobody can hold this country to ransom. So I'm giving them the last chance to conform to what we help Mr. President to reset the country. So this is uh, the distance. And then we are also leveraging on the, the contracts we signed. It's 14 days we are going to give notice. I've had more than 10 different meetings with contractors where we de discuss this. We developed the design. We even developed the cost of doing concrete from the first principle. How much is cement? And the, the cement factories, the Dangote, the Bua, they have agreed to give special discount to our contractors who are going to engage on concrete road pavement. And many contractors are already doing it. Not all the contractors are in this gang up. Many contractors have come to sign addendum doing the road pavement. Those who are meeting are going to be losers. And before them, they will see that we, we do the job and we will do it very well. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.